Hello. Wait, where's the audio? Oh, there's the audio. What's up, chat? Can you guys hear me well? Everything's changed. <laughs> Is the audio too loud? No, I don't think it's too loud. Oh man, it's been so long. <laughs> Wait, why aren't... What? What happened to the alerts? What? Where's my overlay? Oh crap. There it is. What? Where are the sounds? Sorry about the scuffed stream. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, everything's working. Welcome to the oh! It's gonna be a busy stream. <laughs> How do you guys like this stream? How do you guys like this new what a nice setup. Uh, feels nice and rustic. Yeah, I think that's the look I was going for. Um, I thought about going just like full futuristic tech mode. I don't think that's really me. I feel like I'm more of the the rustic hipster kind of guy. New chair. <laughs> yeah, I'm using it. <laughs> Using a cheapo chair right now. <laughs> uh, I'm still waiting on my chair. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, why is. Oh, okay, I see what that is. House tour when? Um, nothing set up. It was like literally just outside of the frame. Got, like tons of boxes. So, yeah. Oh, I should show you guys the progress. Okay, I can show it. The studio Pogo. I showed my patrons like the progress, but you guys, the rest of you guys, haven't seen it. Let me uh, let me send some pics to myself. Okay, sorry if I miss alerts. <laughs> Holy moly. It's been so long. <laughs> what? <clears throat> okay, let's see. How far back do I have to go? Uh, Chad11, welcome back for six months. Whoa, six months. Enjoy your new uh, Blue Alps badge. Improvade, thank you so much for the eight months. How are you doing? Been seeing your uh, Insta stories. Sleep poke. Thank you so much for the three months, welcome back. Kali Kai, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Duncan Yoyo, welcome back for two months. Japanese domestic market? What? What? Uh, NACLT, oh, Salty, thank you so much for the two months. Amanda Gigi, welcome back for two months. September, yo, it's September. I've legit streamed like three times in September. <laughs> so this year, September, wasn't a good one, but I had other priorities. It's okay. Uh, Kibafu, welcome back for six months. Also another Blue Alps badge now. I am Chi, thank you so much for the three months. Sorry, four months. Possum Kitty, welcome back for five months. Holy crap! What the? <laughs> Ed, hold. Wait, the mic isn't focused. Now. Wait, the mic's taking the focus. Ed, holy mo. Thank you so much for the Tony gift to subs. Okay, I gotta, let me go through this real quick. Zero Knight, thank you so much for the two months. DMC, thank you so much for the tier one sub. PP Munch, thank you so much for the six months. Yeah, you do have a new badge now. Pseudo Mac, welcome back for seven months. Gandalf, ooh, Gandalf with the one year now. We have another Topra badge. Men's and Nurse, welcome back for four months. Miko Chu, welcome back for five months. Reese. Ryzy, welcome back for eight months. Iberly Games, thank you so much for the two months. I love Kingdoms, thank you so much for the six months. We have a lot of uh, six months today. Rope, also six smile, months. Smile, smile. Jeff Leopard, also five months. See you at ha TwitchCon? Yeah, I'll be at TwitchCon. Yeah, like my life's been busy. Because I've been trying to. I've been, I've been furnishing here. 
but I also have been preparing for TwitchCon. So yeah, it's been it's been hectic. Uh, Cause TwitchCon, TwitchCon, I'm leaving for TwitchCon on Thursday. So yeah, it's, it's a, been a busy month. Clavier, welcome back for seven months. Carl, Carlos, thank you so much for the three months. Casey, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Slasher boy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Ooh, Heine Bush, also a one year. Let's go. What is this? <laughs> Vike Mitch, thank you so much for the two months. C Shangji, thank you so much for the five months. Base Virtual, so thank you so much for the two months. Tim Bob, thank you so much for the two months. Vivo, thank you so much for the six months. Another Blue Alps badge. Ham Hands, welcome back for four months. Men's and Nurse, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Chromapus, thank you so much for the 4 months. LTLO, welcome back for 2 months. The Koi and Zach TDA, thank you so much for the tier 1 subs. Nokito, thank you so much for the 3 months. Game Bell, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. You gonna lose, welcome back for 3 months. Do a setup tour next YouTube video. Yeah, I, I will definitely do a setup tour at some point, but like literally what you see here is all that's uh, prepped. I can't, yeah, I can't show. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do a setup tour eventually. Uh, where am I? Uh, Mr. Sniffles, thank you so much for the two months. How am I liking that SoCal weather? Yo, know, SoCal weather is ass. <laughs> it's so hot, but thankfully, I can blast AC, you know, we have AC. So I can blast it. That's how I'm, how I'm wearing this long sleeve right now. The Mr. Sleeves lives on this AC. Allo, Ed, holy, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. Samuel Cable, thank you so much for the f 7 months. Spoon Zero, thank you so much for the 3 months. Dixie Mech, welcome back for 4 months. Oh, look, I sponsor an actual streamer. I thought it was a myth. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm back, I'm back. Also, how's the audio? Is it very echoey? I feel like it's echoey. I uh... It's good? Really? Okay. Maybe it's, maybe I don't need to get panels. I was thinking I might need to get like uh, audio panels set up, but... If it's not that echoey... I also plan on getting a new mic. Um, so this is a condenser mic. I'm thinking of getting a shotgun or maybe a dynamic mic. So it kind of just directs the mic at my voice. So it doesn't pick up other noise. A little echoey, yeah. Like I don't have enough furniture in here, not a lot of stuff yet to help with it either. So yeah, I'm thinking of getting a dynamic mic. And also just having the mic like right outside the frame. I don't know, I mean, this mic looks beautiful but I don't know if I want to keep it like in the frame still. Ideally, I would like to not have the mic in the frame. But this is a beautiful mic, so I feel like even though it's in the frame, it's not too bad. Uh, Chortle, my Squirtle, thank you so much for the three, tier three for four months. I'm so behind, huh? Yeah, I need to I need to change alert stuff too. I didn't do that before the stream. I'm guessing I'm gonna think I think I'll move the chat to this side. Like once this mic is gone. I'll probably shift this chat over to this side and then have this alert pop out somewhere here or something. Yeah, I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out. Oh my gosh, chat is... <sighs> Wait, Kelly is also a 12 months. Wow, this looks so, so many Topra badges today. Thank you, Kelly, for the support. BK Knox, welcome back for six months. Kita Moto, thank you so much for the four months. Krelbit, thank you so much for the five dollar tip. Krelbit's been doing a lot since I. Uh... Yeah, 
Uh, Fossil Fido, thank you so much for the seven months. Nerd Panda, thank you so much for the three months. These early mornings are a struggle for your Asia boys. Yeah, uh, I, that's another thing I have to figure out. I have to figure out what I want my schedule to be. Um, since I can stream pretty much whatever now. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter when I stream. So I gotta come up with a schedule that I like and that works. So yeah, that's something I wanna figure out. But I, I probably won't start figuring out my schedule until after TwitchCon. Um, this week is pretty much just all preparing for TwitchCon. So yeah, uh, where was I? Generic Panda, thank you so much for Twitch Prime sub. Phil Gigi, thank you so much for the seven months. Jerk Chicken, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Hapix, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Soyun, Final Fantasy 14, thank you so much for the six months. Another blue ops bag. Sultan of Sleep, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Polyzoo, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Hope you've been well. Skirt Squad, thank you so much for the three months. <sighs> Ixian Indigo, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Tim Bob, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Nilly Burgo, welcome back for two months. Keisu, thank you so much for the four months. Mighty RL, thank you so much for the two months. New Studio Hootis, yeah. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much for the 200 bits. You have ignored my 12 month. I'm not ignoring, I'm just very behind on the alerts. I haven't... I haven't streamed... Has it been three weeks now? Two weeks? Three weeks? So I'm behind on a lot of resubs. Young Tilla! Also a Blue Alps badge. Now how have you been? Seven Hatchers, welcome back for two months. Asshat, thank you so much for the six months. Chortle, my squirrel, thank you so much for the gifting a sub. Geo, thank you so much for the five months. Silver Tones, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Cat spilled my coffee on my poker, so I said screw it and got a DZ60 brass plate. 65 cam deals. Nice. Very nice. The One Muffin, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Saucer, thank you so much for the 11 months. Tekken, thank you so much for the 3 months. The Left Person, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub. Two's Compliment, hello, welcome back for 3 months. Thank you, thank you. Are you going to be at TwitchCon? Two's Compliment. And Monka Minka, thank you so much for the 2 months. All right, I think I caught up. I caught up. New studio looks like Korean dentist. What? This looks like a dentist office. What? Uh, X Kibu, welcome back for six months. We have so many Blue Alps badges now. What the heck? All right. Okay. Lucetum looks so great today. Keys and trees. Thank you so much for the two months. I'll be there Friday to Saturday. We'll make sure to drop by the artist corner and say hi. Yes. All right. Does chat like this new setup? Place your votes, guys. Oh, crap. Wrong thing. Vote in chat, everyone. Ooh, a lot of yeses. Oh, I see some no's. Who said no? Ban all those people who said no. Ban those people who said no. Black bars on side. What black bars? Clavier said no. Oof. Worst vendor in the community, Clavier. <laughs> Everything is clean. I like the hue bulb in the background. Yeah, so. Okay. Looks, looks like chat likes the new studio. That's good. You guys can be honest. I'm not I'm not an interior designer. So yeah, yeah, but the nice thing, holy nice thing is because, so I painted my, why well, didn't ascend? iPhone so trash. Show other camera angle, okay, so our stream took a hit. So we still have the overhead cam. Overhead cam, pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh wait. Yeah, the, the pick I leaked is fine. That's what I was gonna show chat. I was gonna show chat my progress. Yeah, so this is the overhead cam, but uh, what used to be our shoulder cam, you know, the cam with the, the side view, I have made that my main cam now. So that's why it's super HD. 
Um, so if I want to bring back the shoulder cam, I need to buy another camera. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. As much as I would like a third cam. Oh, Wicked, hello! How are you doing? Wait, I thought you were streaming. Did you finish streaming already? Maybe that was earlier in the morning. How are you doing? Um, but yeah, so... So what used to be the shoulder cam is now my main cam. So that's what I have now. Um, I'm gonna focus... Hold on, let me make sure these pictures go first. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll make sense once I have the pictures. But so this corner of this, the room is basically my streaming studio setup. And then on the other corner of the room, I'm gonna make that... I'm gonna make that a different uh, setup background to film my YouTube videos against. I don't know, I mean, I do like the way this background turned out. But I don't know, I feel like if I both stream and film YouTube videos against the same background, it might get a little boring. So yeah, this is my stream setup, and then on the- okay, I think the picture is finished. Alright. Alright, let's, let's, let's show off some pictures. Um, WK Snakes, welcome back for three months. Lazy Not Dead, thank you so much for the four months. Dr. Creature, thank you so much for the two months. Pay your pet, pay your pet. Will, thank you so much for the four months. How are you doing, Will? Crassong, welcome back for four months. Talisman Solutions, thank you so much for the nine months. How are you doing? Chewy, thank you so much for the one month. Mad Villain, thank you so much for the two months. Wicked, thank you so much for the four months. Seth Back, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Sine Wave Slicer, thank you so much for the two months. Uh, Roz Claws, thank you so much for the one bit. Ixen Indigo, thank you so much for the 1000 bits. Singularity Sin, thank you so much for the three months. Uh, I don't know if I could read that username, but Jay's ROP, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Voloim, thank you so much for the five months. Poke Power Turtle, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Alright, I think I caught up. So. This is what my studio looked like initially. Could use some sound treatment? Yeah, I definitely know that, yeah. So this is what the room looks like when I first got here. <laughs> so you guys can see my computer down there, pretty barren. Um, so right next to me out of frame is that burgundy wall you're seeing. Um, so I do have a window here, I kind of like it. I mean, one, I need the window for for a ventilation when I solder, because I don't want to die. Um, so yeah, the window is still there. That burgundy wall had to go. And also that cream kind of off-white, uh, terrible for filming videos against, because it makes color grading uh, a nightmare if your wall color is of a similar skin tone color. So yeah, I decided to paint the entire place gray. So that is that. And then... So what we did... Where is... Where are the pics? So I did post this on my Insta story. But uh, we drywalled. Yo, Christopher Yi, hello! How have you been? Also, Chris, I need a... Um, I have no idea what our uh, housing situation is. <laughs> when, are we, when are we gonna get housing situation information? <laughs> um, so yeah, we got. I got the two walls uh, drywalled and plastered up so it's covered. So I hit it the two windows, other than the big window right here. So there's a window, there was a window behind this bookshelf. So that got drywalled and plastered up. And then I painted my room a dark gray. That's what it said. So this is what happened afterward. It got painted a dark gray. So yeah, that window is still there, but you can see the, uh, the smaller window is now gone. 
so yeah i also painted the ceiling the same color i i thought about keeping the ceiling the same white to bounce light off of but i i kind of like the fact that the ceiling's great um i also removed the fan the ceiling fan i don't know if you guys noticed there's a ceiling fan there uh it does mean i can't utilize the fan when it gets too hot but i have uh, i have ac so it's not too bad uh, the room i wish I wish it was a little taller like the room's not as high as I would like it to be it's probably like there's probably a little under seven feet so it's not super tall so I was a little bit worried that the fan might show up in the shots so that's why I had the fan removed uh, I die even with AC I need some air movement um, it's not that bad actually with the AC it's not that bad 트림을 해줘서 고맙습니다. 꼬늘 기분이 나빴는데 아주 고맙습니다. <웃음> 도진님 감사합니다. <웃음> yeah, so that's that. And then my uh, my desk came first. So you can see there, that's my desk. I still didn't have the still didn't have the uh, bookshelf at this point. Uh, I ended up going with the Uplift V2 standing desk. I asked on Twitter if people had recommendations for a standing desk. And it seems like I went with Uplift because it seemed like it was more stable than the Jarvis standing desk. And I need some, I need stability in the standing desk. So that's why I ended up going with the Uplift. Yeah, um, I don't know. I was expecting it to be a little bit more stable, but I also went with the 72 inch table, so it's pretty long. Um, there's like a little bit of wobble, but I guess that's because I, I got the 72 inch. I figure if you get the smaller size, like the normal smaller sized ones, um, it's better. It needs to be stable if you're going to stand on the table. Yeah, so if I raise this up to standing height, um, it's pretty stable. It's not too bad. I can like type without having the table shake or the monitor shake when I'm typing. That's about all I need. I don't really need to do heavy duty work while I'm standing. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with the purchase. If you have it and don't need it, can I buy it? Uh, all my old furniture is sold. <laughs> I don't have any of my old furniture anymore. Oh shoot, I'm behind. Uh, where was I? Timmy5127, thank you so much for the $2 tip. Where I got my rings from, uh, Bing Bang NYC. Secretly a liar. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Chef PS, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Sean, welcome back for eight months. It's the no time streamer. Dennis Bro Chill, thank you so much for the three months. Smoff, whoa, Smoff has 13 months. Smoff is now past the, the one year mark. Holy moly. Although I can't technically say I've streamed for 13 months because I didn't really stream this month. But Smoff is 13 months now. Um, and Power Steering, thank you so much for the solar tip. Uh, yeah, uh, if you, one of the icons on the bottom, I believe, leads you to an email. But you can always email me at tehatypes.com. Or uh, ping me on any of my socials. Monka TOS fraud streamer. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to everyone who subbed, who didn't get their money's worth. Who didn't get their money's worth in September. But I have a thing to make it up. I have a thing to make it up. I have a thing to make it up. See you in court. What the? Holy, that room is tiny. Yeah, this room is not. It's not small, but it's not like big. Um, I don't have my bed in the room because I couldn't fit it. So I I just sleep outside. 
on the couch. And then, yeah. Generic Panda, thank you so much for the $2 tip. You were gone so long, I started listening to K-pop to fill the void. And you said it looks great, thank you. Thank you, Generic Panda. Please don't say you are streaming on Wi-Fi. No, I, I am definitely plugged in. <laughs> um, so that was the issue. So I, you can see in that picture, there's a coax port uh, right in front of my desk. So the Wi-Fi in this house, not so great. I think just off Wi-Fi in this room, I get like, I get a download speed of like 20 and an upload speed of less than one not usable that's why i couldn't stream last weekend um i tried getting that coax port activated uh, the technician came and uh looks like we're gonna need the ports just there for some reason um apparently like, like the ports are there but well, it doesn't work so i'm guessing somewhere inside the walls the cables got snipped or something so our options were either to get a new um, cable installed for the internet or just buy a long ass ethernet cable I ended up going with the latter because even if I did move the modem into my room that would make Wi-Fi even worse for the rest of the house so we just decided to keep the modem where it is because it's it's at the optimum place for uh, Wi-Fi coverage at least and then I just bought a 100 foot ethernet cable and wired that across yeah <laughs> and now we're good now we're good i th i have zero dropped frames i have all the internet speed i need to stream and game i think so yeah okay let's continue with my story uh okay here's another progress pick just of the room getting painted. Used to be white. All right, and then, and then the, and then the shelf came in. Ja -ja. So that's what the shelf looks like, bare. <clears throat> and now we are at what it is. That's what it looks like. Yes, I know, I know it's barren. I have. It's not because I chose to put nothing there. It's because I don't have anything put on there yet. Um, I'll, I'll probably have like one or two keyboards uh, displayed. I bought the keyboard stands. I bought keyboard stands from... Crap. I don't want to butcher their name. <laughs> What are they called? I know it's Maximilian. Okay, let me let me pull up Instagram. Robot Candy Company. That's where I got the uh, acrylic keyboard stands from. So I'll probably have one or two keyboards there. I don't have extra lenses to put in the back. I know a lot of people put lenses on bookshelves like these. I literally just have two cameras, two lenses. I probably need to get a little bit more lenses. Um, yeah, it'll it'll slowly get filled up. We can decide together as chat what to put there. Um, that light might also be temporary. I don't know. It looks better than I thought. That lamp is just from Ikea, but yeah, I don't know what you, what do you guys think. I'm also thinking of getting a neon sign made and then just like hanging it in this empty space here. Getting a neon sign made of my logo and then hanging it up on this empty space. Or I could get the light tubes that like Dave 2D and Slightly Musical uses. That's probably something I would also want to invest in. Lots of options for background lighting. The light needs something below. In in the background, it is too lopsided. Right? Oh, no, so the light is actually straight. 
uh, it looks slanted because of the uh, the lens perspective and distortion. <laughs> yeah, like if I want to make it look straight, I have to actually secure it to the wall at an angle. Maybe I'll think about it. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But that's the studio for now. How have you guys been? Just ask Albert to decorate your room. I could, but Albert has like, he's going like full kind of tech vibe. I, I didn't want to go full tech vibe. Yeah. OMG, I can't unsee now. Yeah, I mean, the lamp is like straight against the floor. It's just the perspective of the camera. Um, Lazy Mojo. Welcome back for two months. The Real Quanta, thank you so much for three months. And our Bigfoot, thank you so much for ten months. Zombumon, ooh, Mr. Zombumon, thank you so much for eight months. Please consider GMK Sandstorm. Welcome yes, I haven't Jim. given a sponsor Would segment like in a long place? time. <laughs> uh, math, Matt Thai Mao, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime cool. sub. Code Monkey X, thank you so much for the seven months. Taco Lol, thank you so much for the four months. And Zekin, thank you so much for the 13 months. We have two 13 months now. Holy moly. Did you get... If you got Albert to do it, you would have the back wall a massive display. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It's good to stream though. I was getting a little anxious not streaming. Since, you know, streaming is my job now. And when I'm not streaming, it means I'm not working. Which means I'm not making money. Which is not good. <laughs> but yeah, I missed you guys. Fix them fuzz stains. This is GMK camping. There's no fuzz stains. The, uh... The mat that has the fuzz stains is the DSA milkshake. Mr. Flebo, welcome back for two months. Logcock, thank you so much for the three months. Are you getting the KBD67 Mark II? I probably won't buy it myself, but if I... Hopefully Wei sends me one to build on stream and talk about it. Kelly, thank you so much for the 200 bits. You ready to get thrashed in fantasy this week? Oh, are we playing against each other? Tonka Tong, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I did get the uh, MX Master 3. You guys know I'm a fan of MX Masters. You got that triple lens, boy? What is the triple lens? Alright, I think I've rambled on for a long time. I have a ton of stuff to unbox. Um, I've just been sitting on so much mail. We might unbox oh my gosh <laughs> chortle chortle my score holy moly thank you so much for the wait what he gifted tier two subs what chortle what the f gifting 10 tier twos what the heck holy moly chortle my score thank you so much for gifting And tier 2 says, what the? Oh my gosh. Um, so let's start. Let's start with some non keyboard stuff. Anyone, can anyone guess what this is? Non keyboard. Oh crap. Hopefully, you guys couldn't read the company name. <laughs> What IEMs are those? Uh, I'm using the Ultimate Ears, the UE Live. Cards? Man, you guys know me too well. How do you guys know it's cards? The Art of Play really deep. Oh, the logo's right there. Dang it. Dang it. You guys saw the Spade logo.
eight. Right. I got got a lot of cards. Da -da. I don't even remember what I bought. So if you guys know me, I always buy two of every deck. Yes, this is a poop emoji deck of cards. And I already opened one because I had to. It's the poop emoji. How do you not give in to the poop emoji? I'm low-key excited for this though, the font deck. I also have no idea what's in here. Oh crap, I bought a lot. <laughs> I bought a lot of cards. Hmm. Hmm. Retail therapy was a little too hard with this purchase. Alright. <laughs> uh, which which uh, deck should we open, chat? One, two, three, four. Actually, poop emoji we're gonna show off. It's the poop emoji, we gotta show it off. One, two, or three. I think I'm seeing a lot of threes actually. Fonts? Really? I thought chat wouldn't be that into fonts. Do we have a lot of designers in chat? Why are you guys into fonts? I think three wins. Alright, looks like we're gonna open the font deck. But let's start off with the poop emoji deck. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's literally a, a repeating poop emoji is the humming sound your PC oh I think that's the radiator outside for the AC yeah so I think that's why the radiator is literally like right next to my wall <laughs> so that's I think that's why I need a dynamic mic so it just picks up the directed stream of audio from my voice if you can hear the humming, your volume is high F. Yeah, but I mean, it's only kicking in right now. It kicks in from time to time. Keep making that motion. Yo, actual Glacier, thank you so much for the 100 bits. How have you been? Dynamic mic, I see. Yeah, Zombie I might have to give in to the dynamic mic. Listen. So ran. welcome back for 10 months. How are you doing? Ooh, look at this. We have Zeo PC on the Joker card. Yo. Zeo PC right here. How do you guys like the lighting for this view? Too dark? Too bright, too gradient, like, what do you guys think? Big buck nut, thank you so much for the two months, thank you, thank you. A little dark? Yeah, it's because I currently only have my main light source shining. Um, I'll probably get something to fill this side. It is a little dark here. Yeah, so all right, let's go through the deck. Yeah, so this deck is actually more than just the poop emoji deck. It actually uses popular um, the iPhone Apple emojis. Look at that. This is a pretty cool deck. Donut. Who likes donuts? Ooh, look at these face cards. Look at that queen, she's vomiting. Why is she vomiting rainbow? What? Like these two are okay, but why is she vomiting rainbow? Taco. Who likes tacos? I like tacos. All kinds of tacos. Lol. Ooh, peach. This is another pretty popular emoji.
Ooh. Poop emoji, blinks. So yeah, I like this. I like this deck. What about pho? I don't know if pho is a popular... Uh, emoji. Welcome back to Streamland NK. Go to share back. Bruno Saris, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you, thank you. Why do you need all those cards? That's a good question. <laughs> Maybe a supporter yellow light in combination with your background on the main light might look very cinematic. Some lights are favorite of cinematographer puzzle. Love the S setting you could EQ the homing out the background. Good luck. Uh, and say hello, thank you so much for the 420 tip. Uh, a softer yellow light. Yeah, so I can literally, I can make that color whatever I want. The nice thing about having a gray wall is that it's pretty versatile. Like I can make that yellow. And it doesn't, it like the color doesn't bleed too much onto my body. So I like it. Like, I could literally, I can make it razor green. I'm a gamer. But like it doesn't affect my me too much. Um, yeah, we could try a yellow. Let's make it a warmer, warmer yellow. Um, I also have natural light bleeding in through here right now, so it's probably not as good. But yeah, literally, like any color works. I kind of like the purple too. This has like a pretty, pretty tech vibe. Maybe if we're doing a late night stream, might turn it into like a pink slash purple. Pretty nice. It is early in the day, so let's make it a white. What about that brothel vibe? <laughs> um, and someone was asking me why I need all these cards. So if you guys haven't noticed, those are all decks of cards. Those are all Fontaine cards. Um, why do I need all these keyboards? Why do I need all these desk vents? No one needs most of what I show on stream, but um, it's just one of my hobbies. I just like collecting. I like collecting keyboards and decks of cards. Those are the two things I collect. Uh, Fabry Rock, thank you so much for the six months. And Raven Fails, thank you so much for the tier one sub. All right. So this was the poop emoji deck. Let's look into the font deck. Ooh, learn typography while playing cards. A useful tool for graphic designers and anyone wanting to learn it. Yo, I just had a big brain idea. And this is my idea, no one steal this. Oh wait, Novel Keys is in chat. Okay, any vendors or sponsors who are listening, this is my big brain idea. Um, can we get can we get Pantone colored? Can we get like the Pantone or Rao book? But in playing card form factor, I would buy that. That's my idea, but we can work vendors together. Like there's a font deck. Can we have the Rao deck? And like for each, each like shade of color, you have one. It's too late. Oh, did they already do it? Dang it. <laughs> I thought, I've never seen a RAL deck. No, we need... That's the fun part, Zombumon. It's, it's a collecting journey. You gotta collect one deck of every shade of color. Uh, Chubies, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Welcome back. There is a Pantone postcard box. Dang it. Oh, but that's a postcard box, not a postcard box. I mean like, like a legitimate bicycle playing card deck. It's pretty easy to get decks of cars manufactured through bicycle, as long as you hit the MOQ, which isn't too bad, I think. It's my idea. No one take it, it's my idea. 
All right, so let's open the font deck. Uh, we never finished reading it. A useful tool for graphic designers and anyone wanting to learn the essentials of typography. Each of the 52 cards covers an aspect of typography explained clearly with a beautiful visual example. All right. Where's the tab? Ah, there we go. It's designed by Ben Barrett Forrest. Oh, designed in Canada. Welcome back. Uh, Saturn OG, thank you so much for the four months. Iat, oh, this isn't my studio. Oh, Albi, hello. This is my new background. Wait, Albi, are you alive? How are you alive? Are you okay? What was your final stream time? I didn't stick around for all of it, but. Seems like you were. It was 26 hours? Okay. Wait, 26? I swear I saw the timer say 27 at one point. Dang, good job, Albi. 26 hours for your first subathon. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, I went kind of ham. As you can see, Albert, <laughs> with my deck purchases. And I have this box. <laughs> Are those the ultimate IEMs? Yeah, I do have the ultimate IEMs. Alright, so let's take a look at this font deck since I know there's a lot of designers in chat. Typography is the art of designing. Wait, what happened to my alerts on this view? What the. Uh, it's not default. Welcome back for three months. It is a vital part of graphic design and written communication. This deck is an introduction to the very fascinating world of typography. Ooh, all right. Do we have any people who can verify this claim? Are these books recommended for typography? What do you call people who work with fonts? I know that's like a subcategory of... Uh, Menziners, thank you so much for 500 bits. It's been done? All right, I'll check it out for this stream. Are these respectable books? I don't think they're called fonters. <laughs> they're definitely not called fonters. <laughs> <laughs> I've read the first two books, Talisman says. Alright. Comic Sansers. <laughs> Type designer. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay, literally every card has something to do with typography. I thought they were joking. Whoa. This is legit. Wait. Ligature. Holy moly, this is legit. Yo, I had I had no idea fonts were this insane. L ligmature? Ligmature. Holy moly, there's an anatomy to letters? What? Is this for real? What the heck? What? Okay, this kind of, this I kind of know. I've never heard of it as anatomy. Oof. Is this a deep quote? Design, type design is about function. Drawing pretty shapes isn't enough. Oof. Does that apply to keyboards? 
Keyboard design is about function. Drawing pretty rectangles isn't enough. Ooh, it's pretty deep. NK right there. Yes, this is why people can't just go and draw their own and put it on creative market. It's an insanely complex thing. Ooh! Helvetica Pinch. is the sweatpants of typefaces. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm wearing sweatpants right now. I like sweatpants. What does this mean? Looking <laughs> nice. Um, long schlong boy. Thank you so much for the two months, and crazy otter. Welcome back for two months as well. Typography is the craft of endowing human language with a durable, visible form. All right. Yo, this deck is actually legit from a collecting point of view. Like, I collect decks of cards just for the sake of collecting them. This is pretty cool. Hey! M dash. Isn't that a keyboard that's... Whoa! There's an M dash too. Shoutouts to N dash keyboard that's... I think interest check. You guys are in a deck of cards. Of course, Comic Sans is the Joker card. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like this deck. I like this. Ooh, and the back? Back looks pretty nice too. Back looks pretty nice. Kevers, thank you so much for the three months. Ollie Bear, welcome back for four months. Jelly R6, thank you so much for the four months. Uh, what RGB bulbs? I use the LifeX bulbs. I feel like if you go smart light bulbs, it's pretty much LifeX or Philips Hue. I ended up going with LifeX. Uh, yo, Juan Tafanta, thank you so much for the three months. Are you going to TwitchCon, Mr. Juan? Um, I love you, man. Keep up, talk, don't never bro. <laughs> Am I allowed to say this username? Bit Bitch Hezes. Thank you so much for the five months. And Redacted, thank you so much for the three months. Oof. By the way, guys, if you guys are into EDM or electronic music, or are an aspiring medical school student looking to get into a top medical school in the United States, you guys should give Redacted SH a follow. He's trying to hit affiliate, be the first partnered streamer, the first medical school partnered streamer that's focused on med school. You guys should give him a follow. Vu Gaming, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. That's a broad reach. Welcome back, Tayo. In loving to the studio. Sergeant R O C. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. All right, let's check out this this other box of cards. Oh, I have the alphabet deck too. Nice. Abstract playing cards. Uh, Cardistry Con. Alright, we're just gonna open one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. What should we open in chat? What should we open? One, two, three, four, 
five, six. See a lot of six. Novel keys saying four. I feel like novel keys is the only four. Well, it's pretty close between six and four. Six and four. All right, so it looks like one and three are out. All right, we're gonna look, look, keep it to simple yes or no's. Oh, that's not, crap, what was four? What was four? Oh, is this four? Alphabet was four? Green one was four? Cardistry card, okay. <laughs> All right. Should we open the green one? So if this gets a yes vote, we're opening this. We're not opening this. If this ends up being no, we're gonna open another one, right? Should we open this green deck? Ooh, it's leaning towards the nose. No? It's pretty heavily in the nose. Feels bad for Team Green. Maybe the bot. Ah, oh, okay, it's a no. Sorry, Team Green. Cardistry Con's gonna have to wait. Alright, let's open this. cards 2018 wait does that say ISO wait that says ISO ISO this is the ISO playing card deck maybe we shouldn't have chosen this why did I buy an ISO deck all right peel off the sticker what would it MOQ? I have no nails. Oh, there we go. Aeropress or Kalita Wave? I've actually never tried the Kalita Wave, so I can't speak for it. I'm personally Team Chemex, though. Um, it's Karomu, thank you so much for the four months and memories of past, welcome back for two months. Ooh, what the... So that's the Joker card. What about Korean Instant Mixed Coffee? Oh wait, I, I gotta turn this off. Okay, I'm not a... I'm not a coffee... I'm not a coffee snob. But I... I, I think I've drinking enough coffee to like appreciate and differentiate good coffee from bad coffee or Korean mixed coffee Korean mixed coffee is pretty good not gonna lie drink sorry I've drank Korean mixed coffee you know it's not good coffee but for some reason it tastes dank All right. wow. Ooh, what card is this uh, Bork and Angle, thank you so much for three months. Oh, this is, these are just the blanks. Okay, I'm stupid. Oh, wait, this is the this is the face. So this is actually the back design. Ooh, look at those. Look at these geometric shapes. OP. So this is actually the Joker card. Ooh. 
Wetti. Oh, that's a little disappointing. Like, I thought that as the number scales, the number of shapes would also scale. But they all have two. Ooh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ooh, I probably bought this for the back design though. Wait, I love play because you give me to it. All right, can I get a perfect pharaoh? Welcome, Pecti. Ooh. I think I actually split it perfectly in half this time. And if you do a double fan. Ooh! SoCal weather, it's too hot. Oh crap, it's falling out. <laughs> there goes the deck. Magic show's over, guys. But yeah, geometric decks like this look very nice when you fan them. Um, I am hentai enthusiast. Thank you so much for the follow. Kiani, thank you so much for the six months. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your new Alps badge. Pumpkin, thank you so much for the five months. All right. This is it for Nathan's playing card collection segment. Then I'll be teach you some cardistry. Ooh, he did actually. I haven't been practicing though. He taught me this. I haven't practiced this, so it's probably really bad. But no, that's too bad. <laughs> that was so bad. I can't do it. <laughs> Let's pretend that never happened. I'm bad. I I don't practice. I literally just collect for the sake of collecting. Now. Uh, I think that's actually it for non-keyboard stuff. It's time to go to the keyboard product unboxing. So we got something from Mr. Zeal PC. Can anyone guess what this is? Those plants look hella fake. Solerica, uh, you would actually be right. Yes and no. Half of those plants are fake, half aren't. Can you guess which half are fake and which half are real? If you can correctly guess which of these plants, actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if you can guess which of these are real and fake, you can unlock something for chat. All right, let's start with this. Does chat think that is real? Is that plant real? Type fake or real? Oh, I actually see a lot of fakes. Chat, you're dumb. That's a real plant there. That one's real. <laughs> that one's real. <laughs> All right, looks like you, you guys didn't unlock the thing for chat. You guys literally had a 50-50 chance and I would have unlocked something big for you guys. But it's real. Okay, is this real or fake? Is this chat? Okay, if you can get the rest right, maybe I'll unlock something for you guys. Is that fake or real? Okay, looks like a lot of people are saying fake. Yes, that is fake. Is that fake or real? Hmm, seeing a lot of reels. That is also... Just kidding, it's real. That one's real. <laughs> is this real or fake? Or are these three real or fake oh 
Oh, two's compliment set. That's real. Twitch mod answer trumps all. That is, these are actually fake two's compliment. These are fake. Uh, that was kind of 50 50 actually. A lot of people thought they were real. <laughs> hmm. Okay, is that real or fake? Real or fake? Oh, well, this one's pretty mixed too, actually. It's pretty 50 50. <laughs> Two's compliment said that's fake. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> this is real. Is this real or fake? <laughs> is the shelf real? How can the stream be real? How do you know if the stream is real if your eyes aren't real? People saying that's a fake? Come on, man. Like that little plate on the bottom should give, be a giveaway. It's sitting on a plate. This is real, my friends. <laughs> I wouldn't put a fake plant on a plate like that. <laughs> How do we know the plate is real? <laughs> Alright. Chat's kind of bad with fake plants. I have unlocked my Sharingan. My eyes don't lie to me. <laughs> ja -ja. They are all out of focus. Alright, but come on. Whoever said this is fake, kind of papega, not gonna lie. Like, you can clearly see there's a plate there. <laughs> Alright. So, while I was busy, so were my sponsors. I actually have something to unbox. It's not from all of my sponsors. But we have stuff to unbox from a decent amount of our sponsors. So the first one are these Aqua Xylets, which are available for pre-order, I believe, on zopc.net slash types. They are essentially uh, what Xylets should have been. A lot of people had some complaints with the Xylets not being as tactile initially. Um, I can't really say for sure because I don't have Xylance to compare it to. <laughs> um, the Xylance that I do have are 78 gram and all lubed. These are unlubed 62 gram. So I will have to do more testing. Um, I might just turn this into a YouTube review video after I get back from TwitchCon. So yeah. Uh, I will definitely be doing... I got two sets. One is for me. One is for a VIP customer, client. So we'll be doing a build with one set at least on stream. So you guys can hear a little bit of it then. And I can give my thoughts on it as well. But yeah, I mean, so far feel-wise, um, I can't really say if it's less or more tactile than... The original Zeal Xylus. Let's see how these sound. They're gonna be lubed or stock. Uh, they will be lubed for the stream. I love you very much. Oh wait, what the? Uh, Shen Shen, thank you so much for the four months. The... What? The Edda, the Dapper Gamer. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Davas, thank you so much for the Tier 1 sub. Potato Cloud, welcome back for seven months. Can you guys hear this?
These are the same switches. But one sounds the spring and one sounds different from the spring and the other. Yeah, this left one is very, not very pingy, but relative to the other one, it's pingy. Huh. We'll have to see. It's the same switch, Young Tilla. Yep. Feel wise, they both feel the same though. Yeah, feel wise, it's the same. Yeah, um, so not going to talk too much about these today they look nice what switches are these? these are the aqua xylance from zopc.net slash tehotypes they look nice um, I could care less about the color of a switch though but if you guys care about having the theme go across the entirety of your build and you're going for a blue build these look really nice all right yes yeah, so i will talk we'll play around with these more after twitchcon because i have to prepare for twitchcon this week How did Tom move up? Online Freezy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. And Osiris, thank you so much for the five months. How did the move go? Move went pretty well, pretty well. How are you doing? Let's see what we got from Dixie. Guess what this is? Ryan Kicks. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime set. Desk mat? Uh, it's a little too small for a desk mat. No docks, guys. I already marked it out. But what is this? Oh, I think it's. I don't think it's merch. I saw the bag, I thought it was merch, but I don't think it's merch. Alright. Hype for 8008 inks. Are these 8008 inks? You guys think that's what this is? Could be eight zero zero eight inks. Another box inside a box. Mizu, welcome back for six months. Ooh. Wow, so much packaging. <laughs> More packaging.
おNot final pack. Yes, <laughs> um, it is not final packaging, guys. I will be taking the Bower to TwitchCon. That's why I was sent this. Uh, we're gonna build this up before TwitchCon. I think I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. If I don't stream tomorrow, Wednesday's stream will be this Bower. So this is different from the first Bower we saw. Um, this actually has the brass bottom and it looks like this top is it brown it almost looks like it was seracoded no it's not seracoded this is this is anodized this is like anodized to like a chocolate yeah it's kind of it's a very like chocolatey brown color pretty nice Bauer prototype number one. So yes, this is a prototype. Packaging, I've seen the prototype for the packaging. Not the prototype, I've seen, I've seen the box packaging that Dixie has in mind. It looks nice. I think you guys will like the, the amount of care Dixie is putting into the packaging. It looks very nice. But yeah, I, I personally am a fan of the curves of the bower and looks like is this acrylic or palm dixie oh, it might be palm actually i think you said it was palm so yeah, we'll have a palm plate we we built the first one with a polycarbonate plate we'll get to see what a palm plate sounds like So check out Dixie Mac guys, DixieMac.com slash TejaTypes. Um, the Vickery auction for the Bower has not happened yet. So if you guys missed out on the Bower, you guys do have a second chance to purchase one. I don't think the date for the Vickery auction has been announced yet, but that is an option available if you guys haven't purchased one and want to. Um, be sure to check out the interest check for the 8008 ink switches that Dixie also has. Um, if you guys like the colorway of the inks and want to get, or like the colorway of GMK8008 and want to get some boob switches, Dixie's trying to make that happen. I think I saw a message saying, I think if the community can hit 50,000 switches purchased, Dixie will purchase 50,000 himself and bump it up to the next MOQ, I think. Uh, GMK9009 also going on as well. 9009, definitely a set you don't want to miss out on. Oh, I forgot to do novel keys. Is, no, no, I haven't done novel keys yet. That's right. All right. So here we have the Bower. But we're not done yet. for the four months alex the v thank you so much for the two months so if you guys 
have never seen a pelican case. This is a pelican case. And if you guys are interested in where to purchase a pelican case, dixiemaccom slash types is the place to get pelican cases. Here we have one of the many pelican cases Dixie Mac sells. So as you can see, it's very heavy duty. Um, I personally won't put every keyboard in a pelican case. <laughs> Uh, but this is great for travel if you guys plan on traveling to meetups You can check your keyboard in this And have a pretty big level of confidence that your keyboard won't get destroyed Oh, what the heck happened there? These are just some of the things you can do with a Peloton case. They all come with custom foam inserts that you can um, organize, move around yourself. Like it's all, it all comes out. You can rearrange it however you want. Ta -da! So if you guys are going to be at TwitchCon, be sure to come by my booth. I will be at the Artist Alley, booth number 15, right next to the information booth if you ever get lost. I will have the Bowers on display for you guys to play around, feel, hear, in person. What better way to... Oh, this lighting looks pretty nice. This lighting's not bad, right? It's very moody. It's very it's kinda like punchy, contrasty. Not too bad actually. Oh, this is so much lighter. Oh. I don't know. I, I used to I used to like heavy keyboards when I started off. I don't know man, after a couple years. It gets heavy. <laughs> I like lighter keyboards now. But yeah. Uh, who's going to TwitchCon? If you guys are at TwitchCon, stop by. I'll be selling a couple products. We have a couple swag. But yeah, just thought I'd show off a Pelican case since I have never shown off a Pelican case on my stream. I should probably purchase a pop pelican case, huh? I just bought my tickets for the NorCal meetup yesterday. My plane tickets, so... I'm gonna need a way to carry my keyboards somehow. Ah! Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I wasn't lying when I said I had a lot of stuff to unbox. Uh, OP Crescent, thank you so much for the two months. I like this new setup. I hope you have fun at TwitchCon. Yeah, I'm hoping to do so. And yeah, thank you for the two months, by the way. This is my first TwitchCon ever. Hopefully, it's a good one. And Jerk Chicken, thank you so much for the two months. 
Kale Dodson, thank you so much for the three months. And my man Mark, welcome back for eight months. Alright, what is in this box? Ooh la la! Okay, I'm gonna put this on the ground actually. <sighs> the one thing that does suck about the new studio, since I'm not next to a bed, I can't just like chuck stuff onto my bed. Like I have to carefully lay down everything on the ground. What could possibly be in here? Uh, that other is Josh. Welcome back for two months. I'll uh, make sure I stop by our booth at TwitchCon. Would love to test out those keyboards. Yeah, uh, anyone is welcome to come by. Looking forward to seeing everyone as well. So I don't know if people joined in on this, but. Ooh. Dun, da, da, da. So we actually have two things here. The first one. Look at this NK65. We finally have a prototype. This is a prototype. But we finally have a prototype in my hands. I probably won't. This will be at TwitchCon. So if you're at TwitchCon, you could feel it in person. But I probably won't talk about it on stream this week. I do have to prep my boards for TwitchCon. So that's going to be my focus. But after TwitchCon, I'll be sure to bring back the NK65. But I don't know if you guys saw the newsletter. Uh, for Novel Keys. Was it today? It was either today or like a couple days ago. Um, there was a little note that said all NK65s will ship with a special NK65 case. And this is actually the case Mike was talking about. So if you purchased an NK65, it will come with this case. And this is actually a nice case. What? Uh, Aziras, thank you so much for the three months. Ed, thank you so much for the raid. Holy moly. Yo, Ed, look at my new setup. I should change it back to Ed's color, huh? Since Ed raided us, we'll make it Noel themed. For Ed. I hope you guys are doing well if you're coming over from Ed's stream. Uh, I'm just kind of... So I recently went full time if you're coming from Ed's stream. So I haven't streamed for the past two or three weeks. Um, it's my first time showing off the new place that I've been preparing. And I'm going through a bunch of mail that I have sitting in my room. Uh, we showed off a Bauer. This is the Bauer by Dixie Mech. If you guys are also attending TwitchCon, um, I will be bringing some of these keyboards to TwitchCon. I'll be at the Artist Alley booth number 15, right next to the information booth. And you guys can play around with some of the keyboards there. See if it'll really improve your OSU gameplay. Who knows, maybe if you guys buy a more expensive keyboard than Ed, you might beat Ed at OSU. Uh, a lot of people noticing the IEMs. Actually, I actually also never shut off the IEMs. So. Look at this. It's got my logo. Teha Types branded IEMs. All right, this is gonna be the first item in my merch lineup, guys. Teha Types IEMs. 
I'm just kidding. I actually don't think that's reasonable or feasible, actually. Uh, Bobby McBobby, thanks for the two months. Yeah, I am. Alright, so this is the second keyboard I will also be taking to TwitchCon. This is the NK65. Um, unfortunately, you cannot purchase this anymore. But I'm sure there might be extras once the sale is over. This is a very affordable keyboard. This is I, this retailed for one hundred forty dollars, excluding switches and keycaps, which is pretty cheap by custom keyboard community standards. So yeah, look at this. Also, the first keyboard officially made by Novel Keys. And I know it's missing feet. Yes, it's missing feet once again. This is a prototype unit. Oh, it's also seamless. Built with unlube switches. Ooh, it's got red inks. All right. Wait, how do I take this apart? <laughs> Are there tray mount points? Ah! Okay, there are tray mount points. So you can see there's one screw there. Um, but the case, no visible screws. Also, apparently seamless because it moves the seam to the bottom. Um, it's actually pretty light. Uh, just kidding, it's heavier than I expected. It's got some heft, let's weigh this. Wait, uh, Mike, can you s explain what designs or how the design was changed from this? I don't want to say anything wrong. So you did say the design was changed. And yes, you guys are also noticing these new keycaps. These are not GMK keycaps. Uh, I believe these are the cubic. Yeah, Taihao black on white cubic. Spooky Illy, thank you so much for the three months. And Stealth Response, thank you so much for the Touch Prime sub. 47 Sappy, thank you so much for the three months. Kyobu, thank you so much for the two months. So I can already tell. Um, definitely some sub legend or die subbing inconsistencies. I don't know what technology is used for the legends. Caps lock and shift varying thickness uh, double shot okay but yeah the point of double shot abs um, but the t if you're purchasing taiha they are meant to be an affordable option they are not meant to at least i don't think they're not meant to compete with gmk you do get what you pay for but i will still take these over ugly gaming font cheap quality plastic keycaps. Taiha, if you're on a budget, very cheap, but decent quality for your money. Oh, the cubic font is actually not that bad. All right, let's weigh this. So this fully built weighs 1,314 grams or two pounds, 14.3 ounces, almost three pounds. Let's just try measuring the power. So this is all aluminum. This is brass. This has a giant hunk of brass and aluminum. Unbuilt, this weighs four pounds, 10 ounces, unbuilt, without switches or keycaps. So this is 2,099 grams, but that's if you get the brass bottom. 
It's heavy. Okay, one thing I will say though, Mike, the corners are kind of sharp. It's not tofu sharp. But that's like the first thing I noticed when I grabbed it out of the case. Like the edges are sharp. It's not... Will it cut paper? Do I have paper? I don't think it'll cut paper, but... It could be a little more rounded. I don't know, just my... Was my initial reaction. Like just holding it like this, it digs into my palm and fingers. So I don't know if that's a design change that's going, that's been implemented. I do like the three indicator lights here. <laughs> Who holds a keyboard like that? True. All right. Dude, can we get the indicator lights to work? Ooh, computer recognize it. Ooh, caps lock. Thank you. Oh wait, Mike said this is VIA compatible. Oh, it is VIA compatible. Uh, caps lock. I'll just make this scroll lock. Where's scroll lock, scroll lock, scroll lock. Assuming this is scroll lock. No. Nope. Scroll lock doesn't turn the, what turns on this third RGB? Well, you at least know the RGB works. Looks pretty nice. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm personally a fan of indicator lights like this. That was actually one of the biggest reasons why I got into duck keyboards at first. Um, I just really love the indicator lights. <laughs> Let's do a typing test. We haven't done a typing. Hold on, I need to start the bot. Uh, Alright, can we get the words per minute bot started? Mods. It's been a while since mods had to do that. Um, yeah, so keep in mind guys, this is completely stock. It is built with stock red Gateron inks, unlubed stock, stock stabs. Keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, so this is the bad thing. I can't, there's no good angle for me to do typing tests with now. Because the mic gets in the way. Hmm. I guess I'll just kind of like that. Uh, stop the music. I need a third camera. Yeah, I do need a third camera, but it's a luxury I can't afford right now. All right, here we go. Oh crap, what happened? So stock gather on inks, stock stabs. I haven't done a typing test in so long. <laughs> camera is focusing on my, yeah, I know. It's hard to make it focus on the camera. Maybe that might be better. Oh, read it, read it, read it. Read it. Oh, what the?
Oh my god. One seventeen feels bad. <laughs> Nobody guessed correctly. Um, I, I I will say though, these are red inks, so the spring is actually it's light, which I like for normal typing. Oh, Tyler, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I do like lighter springs for just comfortable typing, but when it comes to speed typing, I can't type that well when it's too light for me. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Novel Keys has a video. Let's watch this. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oops, wrong browser. All right. Wait, is that a car going by? Did I just hear a car? Not re-recording a typing test. You can never let the car get to you, Mike. <laughs> Sounds not what? Why is this a recommended video? Oh, no. <laughs> you work at a main road. All right. Check alerts. 36 buttons. Thank you so much for tier one sub. What? What? Spooky Illy? Who's Spooky Illy? Holy moly, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. What the heck? <laughs> thank you so much, Spooky Illy. What? Another 20 gifted subs. Crazy. I feel like there's been a ton of subathons going on lately. I kind of want to do one, but I also don't. But yeah, there's been a ton of subathons going on lately. It's kind of crazy. Abnormal RL, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub for three months. And Spooky Illy, thank you so much for the three months as well. Really appreciate it. Hoi D, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Hey, Tigu, the new setup. Glad to see you back on Twitch. Tom in a box, welcome back for three months. Thank you. Hope you like the new setup. September is nuts. Yeah, I didn't realize. I mean, this is my first September, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yes, the alert was loud because I had the desktop audio loud. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> alert should be fixed now. Hot dinner. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. But yeah, NK65, I will have it at TwitchCon as well. I used your stem rubin tutorial and okay, BD Chishibo with the holy pendaz on the day came out to create. Thank you very much. Uh, whoops, what did I just press? Um, battery fack? Thank you so much for the tip. Oh, glad you liked my stab loop tutorial. I need to remake that. <laughs> yeah, I need to remake that video. Hopefully it serves as a good guideline. Um, so I don't know which... I think you can mount the NK65 in multiple configurations, right Mike? 
I don't know which configuration this is. But otherwise... Oh, only one! Alright, only one. I like. Yeah, but it's got a nice firm typing feel. So if you guys... Have you used this yes or no bot? Yeah, I think it's working properly. Does chat like the NK65? Vote now in chat if you like the NK65. See you all, you know. We had a resounding yes. Um, yeah, for now, I I haven't opened it up, so I don't know where the mounting points are. It doesn't feel like a tray mount to me. I kind of feel like it almost feels closer to pop mount level of firmness than a tray mount. But there's like there's like almost no give or flex in the typing experience. Not, not that it's a bad thing. Some people like it stiff, some people like it flexy. If you guys are about that stiff life, MK65 will provide that feel for you. I like it stiff. Yeah. Alright. So I'm probably just going to take this to TwitchCon as is. And then we'll give it, we'll fully disassemble and look into it deeper once TouchCon is over. But this case, I like this case. I like the fact that there is a pocket so you can store something like your cable in here. Um, you could even store a battery bank if you wanted. A lot of people. For those of you guys who have never been to keyboard meetups, a lot of people bring uh, external power banks so they can just plug their keyboard into it so you can have the RGB flowing at keyboards on your keyboard. So yeah, you could fit a lot of stuff, a decent amount of room here. For reference, it's a deck of cards. That's how much space there is. You could probably fit two or three more along this way. straps so your keyboard doesn't move around too much. Um, it looks like it is of the harder foam type though. It's not like the TX case where it's very soft. This is like very form fitting. So this this was made specifically for the NK65. Oh yeah. So NK65 fits there very snugly. Something like the Bauer fit in here? Probably not. Yeah, no way Bowers. Oh, it fits. But it sits on the outer ledge. <laughs> like it's not actually inside the groove. Like the Bauer is resting along this upper edge, not the inner edge. <laughs> Would a KBD-67 fit or not? Uh, I can't say, I don't have a KBD-65 on me. Um, it's the same form factor, but it really depends on the keyboard size. 
Alright, so let's put this away. Uh, Sirius, welcome back for five months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, glad to be back. And Coda King, welcome back for two months. Alright, what else was I doing? Have the purple yawks. Wait, these are yawks, right? Yeah, they're yawk. Ooh. So many switch videos. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're just yawks. <laughs> okay. 98 gram springs. Do I really want to put that in my keyboard? Uh, I will set multiple weights though. So if you guys haven't heard, Novel Keys is trying to stock springs. Um, so I did purchase, um, I did receive uh, the first round of switches Novel Keys had. Um, it turned out those had some tolerance issues. That's why I never really mentioned it on my stream. Um, these should be fixed. So I am going to also start using um, Novel Keys' springs in my builds. Um, I've used quite a bit of the new TX springs now. So hopefully I can tell you guys how I feel about these Novel Key springs and how they stack up. Um, what's interesting though are the weights. So 74 gram isn't really a standard weight. 56, not really a standard weight. Wow, 39 grams. Do I really want to build a 39 gram spring weight keyboard? 98 grams. 89 grams all these interesting weights so kind of excited to try it oh focus please should be exciting uh marsh marshall mitsu thank you so much for the tip tips for removing linear switches of tool five crytox crater yes go as light as you possibly can and when I mean light as you possibly can, I really mean it. Oh! Oh no, there's a hole. Yeah, go very lightly with tool 5 grade 0. Uh, sushi, welcome back for 6 months. How have you been? Yeah, it is. Glad to see you. Uh, but we tested to make sure. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not bagging on the weights at all. I actually think... It's kind of, it's actually kind of refreshing to see non-standard waiting. Um, it's new, it's different. I want to see what these are like. I feel like I'll definitely like the 56 gram. Um, I enjoy 55 gram springs. It's a little, it's very light. I can't speed type well with it, but it's very comfortable. So if, even if I can get a one gram heavier spring, I feel like I'll take that. It's gonna be a nice weight. So, I'm gonna try these out after TwitchCon as well. Yes. Ooh. My knowledge are finally here. I really like creams. I have yet to build a personal board with creams, but I have built many other people's cream builds. I like cream. Looks like weed. <laughs> kind of does actually. If you have it out of focus, does it look like weed? Yeah, 
Yeah, someone might mistake that for weed, actually. You can kind of pass as weed. <laughs> with the chair hey hey I had to purchase all the furniture which means my chair had to take a hit all right this is the best I have so far but it's okay it's okay I'll just make streams short so I don't have to sit on here for too long <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I did feel that the stock weighting of the, the creams were a little bit heavy for me, just slightly heavy for me. So I am looking forward to the 63.5 gram spring on the Nolan. Color, I don't really care for. You guys know me. I wow, care less how my doors look new. Maybe you send up before you to be the soon. I don't know. Slug, slug, slug. Ah, McMax McMick. Thank you so much for the six months. Whoa, hello. Going full time, missing three weeks in a row. <laughs> Alright, yeah, for sure, McMax McMick. Is this the stock weight on spring 60? Really? Is it? I swear it was heavier than 60 grams. Stock weight on creams was 60 grams? I thought it was heavier. The, the Ark, welcome back for two months. Hello, hello. Alright, I finally have my Metropolis desk man. I think everyone has received theirs already. Uh, I novel creams are 70 grams. Yeah, I I could have sworn they're heavier than 60 grams. Um, I purchased Metropolis desk mat only because I couldn't afford the keycap set at the time. And then my my order of desk mats just got lost somehow. Just never came to me, so finally have my Metropolis desk yet. Yeah, lost in transit, not Mike's fault. Oh. Looks so nice. Very nice. It's a little too dark for my stream now that my my desk is kind of a dark walnut wood but no. I think for this year for mech madness I don't know if Dixie's still watching I feel like you need to have a desk mat bracket now like I feel like if anything desk mats have seen the greatest innovation in the keyboard community the quality of desk mats from like last year to this year it's like pshh. There is one area of the keyboard community where innovation is occurring. It's for sure, the desk mat design. I think. It'd be interesting to see what people vote as desk mat of the year. Uh, Metropolis, I think, is a high contender. I think I could actually. Yeah, I mean, with all the key sets running that all have their own desk mats now, uh, I feel like it's going to be very hard to vote on desk mats. More so than keycap sets which someone would make 900 by 600 desk mats 900 by 600 isn't a popular size though I feel like yeah it's too big Ooh. oh no it doesn't work no no scuffed stream crap Japanese horror writer thank you so much for the 1000 bits it's because um, it's because that's set to pick up my 
old webcam which I don't have I don't have a webcam anymore because I'm using my DSLR as the webcam all right I gotta fix that scene for next stream <laughs> but uh, thank you so much Japanese horror right Mr. Spooky Man for the 1000 bits yeah I, I got rid of my webcam to use my DSLR as my main webcam so yeah Ooh, wait. Wait, I see one more desk mat. This is upside down. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about having tentacles on my desk glaring at my face. Um, this colorway also doesn't work with my room. But if you guys like it, it's all that matters. It's cute. This hobby is all about preferences. Oh crap. Um, Bulo, thank you so much for the three months. Neurotical, welcome back for six months. Enjoy your new sub badge. Blue Alps. Drunk. Drunkle Cider. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Not a fan of that color scheme. Um. Yeah, same. But I mean it's it's an aesthetic thing. Metropolis though, Metropolis is nice. Um, I will also have some Novel Keys desk mats to sell at TwitchCon. So if you guys have never purchased a Novel Keys desk mat, be sure to stop by. I don't have a ton. I'm anticipating it to sell up within the first day with the amount of foot traffic we're going to get, so... Alright, so that is it. Uh, let's put this away for now. I need, I feel like I need more lighting before I use a dark desk mat like this. It just doesn't show too well on the stream. Where did you get your white mouse mat from? This is also from Novel Keys. Uh, if you... I get all my desk mats from either novelkeys.xyz. I have a discount code linked in my panel down below. I also have an affiliate link with dixiemats.com, another place I get my desk mats from. How many? have a decent amount of viewers should I show off the next thing a Brack, welcome back for six months <laughs> yeah hopefully got a I've taken a long enough break well it wasn't really a break I've been busy yeah, I'm, my back hurts from all the lifting I had to do, all the IKEA building. Um, but yeah, back in hope to be back in full force streaming. Squirtle, my skitty, welcome back for two months. Am I still going to build a Polaris? Uh, apparently, I won't be receiving one to build on stream anymore. So unfortunately, 
I won't be able to show it off to you guys earlier than anyone else. You guys will just kind of have to wait for it to ship. It's because um, so many Polaris sold, they couldn't handle more sales. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Good job to you guys for purchasing the Polaris though. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Polaris literally struggling from success. That's what happened. Possibly be guys. Jane? Is it my Jane? I'm gonna put this down. Finally received my Jane. Let's talk about my Jane. All right, my left side is getting a bit dark again. take a peek at this. I've been waiting for this Jane for so long. And yes, I did get the Alps PCB and plate. How long ago did you order this? I actually don't know when the Jane ran. <laughs> don't know. Um, I will say though, uh, this is probably extreme lighting. My Jane is more of a dark navy than a blue-gray, I would say. But I am okay with this. I don't mind a dark navy. It's not blue-gray. I wouldn't call this blue-gray. Maybe in like extreme lighting. Like this is definitely the darkest. I think I've handled two or three blue-gray Janes so far. Mine's definitely darker than the other ones I've seen. Uh, Joel Mura, welcome back for six months and enjoy your new uh, Blue Alps badge. But I mean, it's a it's a nice shade of navy, I would say. Um, this here is also technically navy. Wait, it, yeah, this is the Key Colts navy. This is TGR's blue-gray, for reference. But my baby is finally here, Jane. Um, what Alps am I going to put in this? Not too sure. I might, I'm thinking undamped creams, maybe? I could do, I don't know what plate I received. might be a steel plate actually. If it's a steel plate, maybe I might just put blues in here. Might just put blues. Blue Alps, Blue Jane? Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, mine does have a mismatch as well. It's okay. Just gotta live with it. Um, it's not as bad as it looks on stream. I feel like if there's mismatches on my stream, it looks worse because of like the harsh lighting I have. Like the direct lighting, but definitely has a 
in this match for sure. Undamned creams and SGI granite. Ooh, McMax McMick. I have something hey, planned yeah. for that build. I don't want to reveal it yet. I gotta mod my I gotta mod something first. I do have something Wait, spicy up. planned for this chain build. Uh, it's kind of probably gonna be a couple months until I get to building my own Jane. But I, I have it in hand though. Alright. Just wanted, to, just wanted to give you guys an update on my Jane since you guys know I have been waiting on it. Uh, Reno and MO. Thank you so much for it. Five months. Thank you, thank you. Nebula31, welcome back for three months. DCS Uriox. No, I will be using vintage keycaps on this of some sort. But what I need to do is. There is a set of keycaps I want to use on this, but it requires modding to fit on Alps. At least the regular Alps things. Alright, how many viewers do we still have? If it's a lot, I have something spicy prepared for you all. For the loyal viewers. If it's not a lot, maybe next time. Is it a Sergi? No, I don't have one. Wait, Ed, you don't want to leave for this. How many? 874? Really? You guys lie. We're at 874? Oh, it is 874. Should I, should I release the heat? Do you guys want the spicy burrito? Do we do it? All right. I'm gonna do it. And if you guys aren't watching me right now, whoever watches the VOD, sucks to suck. Just kidding. I'm sorry if you're in a different time zone. <laughs> Gotta have, gotta give people a reason to uh, to watch my streams. You know? So if you guys noticed, that TGR box was a bit thick. Any guesses as to why it was a little thick? Anyone make a guess on why that box is thick? No, Kuroi, you can't reveal. No, no reveal, no spoilers. <laughs> you guys ready for the next PGR heat? All right, what is this? What do we have in here, boys and girls? What do we have here, boys and girls? What shape is that? Alice? It is indeed an Alice, but it's not just any Alice. We have an official TGR polycarbonate Alice. This is not an Alice clone. This is direct. If it shows direct from TGR polycarbonate brass weight unadulterated polycarbonate Alice. Now I said I would make it up to you guys for not streaming during September. 
You guys ready? I'm about to give this away to one of you guys. I'm literally giving this away right now. How to do a giveaway? It's been so long. Tisugai uh. right <laughs> now. Who said that? Who said that? All right, let's talk about this first. Uh, Digital Bob, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Payesh, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Wilson Wade, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I'm Ritaka, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Clever Lion, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. Polyzy, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Um, Hi, Cat. Welcome back for five months. Um, yeah, I think this is the first time publicly the polycarbonate Alice has been shown. Um, I don't have one. This could be mine, but I'm giving a, we're giving it away. TGR and Teha types. We're giving this away right now. Um, Mostly due to the graciousness of TGR. I mean, I don't know how many of you guys have the opportunity to get to talk with TGR, but TGR is a really nice person. I'm not a nice person. I'm kind, I'm like very tempted to just keep this, not give it away, but we're giving it away. Why are you calling? I don't know, man. Not everyone knows TGR's real name. I don't want to dox, man. I don't want to dox. Um, Moa, welcome back for eight months. Starko, welcome for thank you so much for the tier one sub. Queasy Android, thank you so much for the two months. Crunchy90, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Piku Ali, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Jin Devil, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Red GX, thank you so much for the two months. Kid Yon, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Digital Bob, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Vim Warrior, thank you so much for the three months. Just kidding. We're not. I thought I just. Should show it off on chat first um, I'm going to have probably a gleam link for this it's going to be posted on all my socials but you guys heard it first here I'll probably keep it running for a week and then pick the winner after um, TwitchCon <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd show it off to you guys. It's clean? It is clean. I don't know, should I take this to TwitchCon? I'm giving it away, so I kind of don't want to in case like something happens to it while people are playing with it. I don't know, would people at TwitchCon even appreciate a polycarbonate Alice? Do they understand what level of beauty and art and masterpiece they're dealing with? Yo. Chubies, thank you so much for the 200 bits. We all hate you. Jayun, thank you so much for the one year. Whoa, Jayun is a one year. Holy moly. Yeah, hopefully this is a big surprise. Isn't this so beautiful? I want to keep this so much. I told Sam, I let him know I really want to keep it. But I can't do Sam like that. Don't polycarbonate scratch too easily. Um, I mean, it'll pick up scratches eventually, yeah. But it's not like 
it's not like scratching aluminum, I think. Like because it's frosted, it's not visible. It's not like having a crack on your screen. It's a lot better, I think. I think people worry. I don't know. It's, it sounds like from an engineering perspective, polycarbonate on paper doesn't sound great. But in terms of real world usage, I don't think anyone has had real issues with po using polycarbonate as a case material. And I am of that camp. Yeah. If I win, I will give it. I will give away half of it. I see. Look at this. Even though my plastic lubricant and one blend is about to ship. This would be awesome. Looking forward to it. Day streams when I can actually watch it. The panda. Thank you so much for the tip. And Paul from MK. Welcome back for nine months. Oh, Harvey. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, did I have more? I don't. Um, another thing, another thing. If you guys are attending TwitchCon, if you guys are attending TwitchCon, I will also be giving away a keyboard there at TwitchCon. Open only to TwitchCon attendees. You have to come by my booth to enter, obviously. But yeah, if you're at TwitchCon, I'm gonna give away... It's not a cheap keyboard, it's an expensive keyboard. Feels bad for EU? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mazers. <laughs> um, but yeah, there will be a TwitchCon giveaway as well. It's gonna be a nice keyboard. But yeah, this one we will leave open for a week. I think that's all I had for today's unbox. How long? It's been two and a half hours. I unboxed stuff for two and a half hours. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are... I don't know, what's a good stream time for people? Should I is it a, should I stream like early in the day? I don't know. I don't know the demographic. I don't know if the I don't know how many of my viewers work and if they do work if they are allowed to watch streams while working. You can do a survey in your Discord. My survey is only a percentage of my viewers. I'm watching at work. I mean, I, I know a lot of people watch streams at work, especially if you're like in the tech industry, but yeah, I'm not sure. I got to start thinking about my stream schedule as well. So yeah, we'll see. That's something I want to figure out. Um, once again, tomorrow, we'll see if I stream tomorrow. Wednesday for sure, I will be a stream. Uh, I'll also be gaming more on stream. I'm thinking of playing a lot of horror games next month with some of my friends. There's a couple horror games you want to try out. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah, TwitchCon, booth number 15, Artist Alley. Be sure to stop by. Would like to see all of you guys face to face. Uh, Corey B, thank you so much for the two months. No? Dang, Tyler. Feels bad. Feels bad. Um, I might try to stream at TwitchCon. We'll see. I signed up for a couple opportunities to rent out a streaming backpack for a couple hours. We'll see if I get one of those. Um, yeah, we'll see. 
Or maybe I just might stream from my phone if I don't end up getting picked for it. Yeah. What lube do you use to lube Halo True Switches? I would say go with something thin, like 3203. If you like something thicker, go 3204 or 205 grade zero. Um, Sin Prestige, welcome back. For two months. Quantric, thank you so much for the. Whoa, Mr. Quantric is also one year. One year. Show us your toilet? What? Why? If we are only going to TwitchCon on Sunday, yes, I'll be at the Artist Alley all three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be there. I want to see you how you play FPS with MX Master 3. Same way I play with any other mouse. Have you heard of the ink crackling issue? Don't know what that is. Never heard of inks crackling. Can you stream League? Yeah, I, f I imagine I'll play League. I used to play League a lot. How do you like the MX Master 3? Uh, I love it. I love the MX Master 3. Um, the new scroll wheel, so smooth. Um, the tactility could be a little bit nicer, I would say. But it's like the way they achieved the scrolling, it's like extremely smooth, almost elegant. Yeah, like it's, it's just very smooth. I mean, I watched a couple of video, review videos. And yeah, it's kind of hard to describe it until you actually feel it. Like it's just a very, very well done scrolling mechanism. Could be a little bit more tactile. Um, huge fan of the new placement of the back and front buttons. Um, yeah, I like the shape overall as well. I've always been a big MX Master fan. Who is online? Who can we raid today? Ooh! Natsumi's online. Natsumi, Wendy is having a subathon as well. Let's go raid Wendy. Three eyes. Please consider following me on all my socials. Who's going to TwitchCon? Type, type TC in chat if you're going to TwitchCon. Please consider GMK Sandstorm. Yeah, please consider GMK Sandstorm, everyone. Go support the mans, Mr. Zombamon and Switchmod. Uh, what other? Check out all my sponsors. PrimeKeyboards.com KBDFans.com Switchmod.net slash types. Oh, drop.com. Oh crap, I forgot to add drops logo. Um, drop.com, also a sponsor. What else? I think that's it for my sponsors. Yeah. Bag extras available when? Um, it will be available in the not too distant future. Oh yes, if you guys missed out on Teha Types bags, um, there are a decent amount of extras that were purchased, so you guys do have a second chance. Alright. Um, what should we tell Wendy? We're gonna go read Wendy. What, that's on Geek Maker Creamy Switches. I haven't tried them, so I can't really say much. Um, didn't seem like the reception was too great from what I've seen of Geek Maker Cream Switches though. Yeah. Uh, Wendy is having a subathon. Help her get to 24 hours, guys. How are you liking the studio? Uh, I like it. It's a little... S it's a little smaller than I imagined. But it's okay, I can't really complain. I think it's a huge step up from what I had. And slow progress. Slow but continual progress. 
I can't really complain. It's bigger than yeah, it's bigger than my old room for sure. It's bigger than my old room. Is this a separate area outside of your home? No, this is my home. We just converted. Okay, maybe I should. Okay, I'm a cancelable rate for now. I should explain the story. So this is the master bedroom of my parents' house. I yoinked the master bedroom from my parents. <laughs> that that is what uh that is that is what has happened in my life. Uh yeah, no, I am living back at home. I'm living with my parents right now to save money. Uh, I, I really wanted to live in Los Angeles. I really wanted to live in Los Angeles because that's where all the other streamers are. And it would have been probably nicer to live there, but just financially, uh, I don't think, I just thought it didn't make sense for me in my current state. Um, as nice as it is, I mean, I mean, who knows? Maybe it might have been better to take the hit financially and try to build connections up quicker. But yeah, I decided to go the more cheap route. Uh, I am living in Corona, so yeah, I I thought about it hard. Um, my parents were willing to give up the master bedroom and move to a smaller room in the house to support me. So yeah, pretty grateful for my parents and hopefully it grows from here. I, ideally, I would like to move out of here. Not that I don't like my parents, but you know, I don't, as much as it is nice to live with your parents, um, I don't want to inconvenience them. And yeah, like LA is probably the better city to be in as a streamer, but yeah, for now, we're all making sacrifices here and there. I am paying rent to my parents, so I'm not living for free. I am paying my parents, but it's still like, it's way cheaper than living in Los Angeles right okay, now. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, gonna live with that for now. And hopefully in a year or two, my, my goal is to move out in a year or two, or at least be in a state where I can afford living alone somewhere with decent space. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, LA is so expensive. It's almost as expensive as like the Bay Area now. Like what the heck? I thought SoCal was supposed to be cheaper. If you're looking for a roommate, hit me up. Ed, are you trying to move out to LA? You trying to move out to LA, Ed? Um, X, X Hedgehog, welcome back for three months. Doc Knutes, welcome back for six months. Boris Stunks, welcome back for two months. Sin Prestile, welcome back for two months. Unironically, yeah, in a year or two. Yo, Ed's trying to move out? Is it time for the keyboard community and the Osu slash Minecraft community to form an alliance? Is this the next? Is this is this the future yeah it, it's it seems fun to live in a streamer house but at the same time <clears throat> I don't know like I what I do is kind of different like yeah I am streaming but I also I have a business essentially as well so like I need space <laughs> and I don't know how people would take it like if I'm constantly receiving packages yeah it's all stuff to think about but yeah we'll see I don't really have that much planned out in the future yet for now I'm just trying to get streams back up to regular schedule um, and then set up my YouTube space so I could start actually making YouTube dedicated videos. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, but this is my parents. This is the mas master bedroom. <laughs> so yeah. I 
I think you underestimate the load of stuff streamers can receive if they, even if they don't own a business, you fit right in. I see, I see. Bad son kicking out his parents. <laughs> uh, what keyboard did you make for Slightly Musical? I didn't make him a keyboard directly, but I sourced I sourced all the parts for his Brahma M65A that he used to use and then I, I walked him through how to build it live on his stream. The VOD's probably gone though, unfortunately, but it was, yeah, it was on his stream. Dallas? I've heard good things about Texas, but none of the streamers that I at least know or want to get close to are in Texas. But yeah, I can see Texas becoming the next giant hub. A lot of, a lot of people are moving to Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but I mean, the nice thing with living at home, I don't have to pay for food. It's like comfortable since I know my family. Yeah, cheaper rent. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's been six years since I lived with my parents. So. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two younger sisters. Maybe they'll make a guest appearance on my stream. I don't know. We'll see. One of my sisters wants to be on stream. One of them doesn't. Yeah, but I'll definitely be branching outside of just keyboard stuff. I feel like doing just build streams isn't viable. So we're going to see a lot of new content. Why are your plants so far apart from one another? It's because I'm, I'm going to put stuff in the middle. It's just I don't have stuff yet. I don't want the plants all together. I don't know. I, I could rearrange it. Yeah. How far is your girlfriend now from you? Uh, like a 40 minute drive. Will you spend more time with her? Yeah, I've been spending more time with her. A lot more. Never mind, that's too far. You also yoink the plants? Aha, Solran figured it out. Yeah, so the real plants I yoinked from my mother. My mother likes to grow plants in the house. That's why. I have real plants. If I didn't live with my parents, I probably would have had all fake plants. But I yoinked some real plants that were aesthetic from my mom. Are we gonna have a guest mom appearance? Oh, I probably envision it in the future, yeah. <laughs> what else did you yoink? No, I have my own car. I didn't yoink the car. So you've taken their room, their produce next. Were your parents supportive of you going full-time? Um, I didn't bring up the topic of going full-time until probably two, two or no, three months ago. And at that point, uh, I mean, they've, they've always been watching me. But yeah, they were surprisingly supportive considering Considering I'm a 1.5 gen Asian American, you guys know how typical Asian families are, I would assume. Um, yeah, they were surprisingly supportive of me going full time. Uh, the only concern they had was uh, job stability. Like, yeah, I've been seeing decent growth and I'll obviously be making less than a software engineer, but like it's enough to pay off my school debt and live a decent, live a life where I don't have to worry about being evicted or anything. Um, yeah, they were just worried about the, the stability, like how long is it going to last? How long can streaming be a career for? Um, but I think that's a concern everyone has. like. No one knows how long streaming is viable. No one knows how long. No one knows what the average 
lifespan of a streamer is going to be too. Like streaming has only been around, streaming has been around for less than 10 years. Twitch as a platform is less than 10 years old. Um, well, if I'm, I think for me at least, like I, I feel like I'm different in the way that I'm not a gaming streamer or like a variety streamer. Like I started off doing keyboards. Uh, the goal for me probably is to eventually not have to rely on streams and start releasing my own products. Um, whether I do that by continuing to just collaborate with other people who already have the production and distribution infrastructure set up or me branching out and finding one completely on my own. Um, but I, I see that as the future for Teha Types eventually come out with my own products that I can sell and not have to rely on streams. Yo, Zondat, hello. What are those IMs? They are custom in-ear monitors from Ultimate Ears. <laughs> JSW, welcome back for the two months. Hello, hello. Yeah, but I, I think that's like a very, that's a very super long-term goal. I'm nowhere near having my own products out. For now, I just want to focus on, there is an IEM command. I think people just don't know about it yet. But yeah, for now, I just want to focus on streaming and making videos. And then I think once that stabilizes, I'll try to see and dabble with actual business. Yeah. All right, that was story time. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, oh, actually, whoops is online too. Exclamation large ears. Damn. Can we, can we, uh, can we ban redacted SH? For, for being so mean. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't actually ban him. Rather, you guys should go follow Redacted SH. He's trying to hit affiliate. Redacted SH actually might show in future, uh, future streams. We'll see. We'll see how much he hates me. Uh, Kangpa. Thank Yeah, so unfortunately, no set schedule for now. I'm just gonna go live whenever I can. Hopefully you guys can make it. Um, see you guys all at TwitchCon. I'll for sure be streaming on Wednesday. I think Wednesday I'll build the Bower and probably play some games with some friends. All right, I'll send you guys off uh, E7X, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Wait, Marshall Mitsu, I swore you just subbed. Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. I'll see you guys uh, maybe tomorrow, Wednesday. Alright.